Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to go over my team I'm going to use for the Amethyst acquisition. And as well as that, I'll be showing a alternative team as well you can use in case you do not have the troops I'm going to use for this one. This is the uh, enemies here and what they're worth. The Archduke is worth 16 points or 8 tomes. Media is worth 7 tomes. Aberath worth 6 tomes. Draxius Citrus is worth five tomes. Now, the only one that's not here right now is the Amethyst Giant, and that is the one you should look out for the most, because that is worth the most points. Now, the way this works is you'll see in the score section, it says tome and then times two points. Basically, this means tomes are worth two points each. And Amethyst Shard, it says times 10. So Amethyst Shards are worth 10 points each. So when we fight, say for example, we're going to fight the Archduke, this dude here, he is worth eight tomes. Now, tomes are worth two points each, so that becomes 16 points. Do you see? Very simple. As well as that, the Amethyst Shard, that's worth 10 points. So when we fight the Amethyst Giant, who's worth two Amethyst Shards, that is worth 20 points. Bingo! Nice and easy. Grab your rewards first and foremost. Absolutely really important you do this because you're going to pick up the medal. You might get to evolve this straight away because a lot of your guild mates may well have started already. Right, so we've collected them. This is a token of spirits in this one. You're going to get extra spell damage for all troops in the current event. So if we pick people that do spell damage, that is going to get increased as the event goes on. It's a week-long event. Basically, you'll start off on normal damage, evolve this, do 40% spell damage, then ultimately do 160% spell damage. So as the, as the uh, event goes on, you actually get more powerful. So as the enemy gets more powerful, basically you do too. So it all balances out in the end. It's not like your troops slowly become weaker, effectively, as the enemies get stronger. It actually ends up going the other way around. We get more powerful, which is really cool. Tier 1, grab that going to get a potion of enchantment love that all troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entire week so that is 30 gems absolutely well spent you get another token of spirits this is going to evolve into a badge and ultimately their medal and you get extra stuff including event sigils and shards and you can go further and further as literally as far as you want to take it just make sure you chip in and help out your guild Right, so the first battle against the Archduke. This is the highest value one here. Um, this is the team I've got here, but I'll show an alternative in a second. I'll just explain how this one works. We're restricted to knights or divines and have to use the color yellow. So the only way to get a fast start in this is by using divine-ish Bala. All divine allies start with 40% mana. And she transforms red to skulls and green to yellow and a chance to random allies. She's really, really good. So we get that start and we can look out for red to skulls at the same time. There's, there's bonus damage. We're not going to be doing it on purpose. We'll be looking to charge up these two troops here. The High Priestess Chazka, really, really cool, deals damage to all enemies based on your magic, boosted by yellow gems, then bless all yellow allies. We have an all yellow team. Bless is kind of like a super cleanse. You're cleansed and are then made impervious to all the negative status effects. Devour, mana burn and mana drain. It's really, really good. Underrated uh, positive talent. Absolutely love Bless. And she also conjures a, a light storm when my turn begins, which is yellow. And when turn begins means as long as she's on the team, we're going to get a constant yellow storm, which is just as well because we're quite limited on colors in this team. We have two of them to dish out the damage. And we've got a rope dart here as well. Eliminates all armor from an enemy, deals a load of damage, and pulls them to first position. And if you have this fully upgraded, you're going to be getting an extra turn at the same time. Absolutely superb weapon, but just show a couple of alternatives now. If you don't have those troops or weapons, if you don't have High Priestess Chiazka, then the way I would go about it is King Mikhail. Again, really good, awesome damage to all. It explodes a row at the same time, which is going to generate mana. If you've got two of them, just pop in two of them. First place and second place, then have Rope Dart in third place. And then fourth place, 
Uki, you could have... Uh, you could do that. That would not be a bad shout. Uh, cast that on King Mikhail at the top. Keep them barriered. Give them armor. Keep them protected. You don't want them dying. You could also go... Uh, Valkyrie could be interesting. Transformer selected mana color to blue. That would charge up your rope dart again. Again, if you're a newer player, you gain souls as well, which is always handy. Yeah, so if you don't have these troops, then still stick to rope dart if you can. But then um, just go King Mikhail instead. Good way. If you don't have a rope dart, then I would look for any other weapon that does damage to wall. You're already going to get damage to wall from either your High Priestess Chazka or King Mikhail. So just type in damage to all. And have a look what you've got. Try not to mana block whoever you've got underneath. But yeah, damage to wall is a really good way to go in this. There's some decent weapons to, in here. Dancing Daggers is pretty cool. Damage to wall. Yeah, so there's some good options. But we'll concentrate on this team for now. We are in Priest class. You're going to want to be in Priest class for this. There's some really cool benefits. All allies heal two points per turn, gain bonus yellow and a little bit of life. Importantly as well, in this class, you'll see on that magic, it says a little writing there, just by the little magic orb, plus five when using yellow weapons. We are forced to use a yellow weapon here. So you only get a plus five magic bonus, which is really important if you're a newer player. On the actual talents themselves, we'll go for serendipity. Leading Light is really good. We don't need the Cleanse because we're getting it from High Priestess Chazka. Golem Protector is pretty cool. Tactician, again, another another bonus. Three magic at the start, really cool. Mentor, even more magic. Tree of Knowledge, gain enchant when matching green. We don't match green on purpose, but if we get an incidental green drop, that'll just happen automatically. And Divinity, all Divine Allies gain two life every turn. So really, really handy traits. Let's jump in and have a few battles. You can do the um, Weapon Equip, Weapon Equip, Medal Equip. You'll just find the medal. There it is, Badge of Spirits. Put it in the right place, not the wrong place. Right, this is where my stupid OCD comes into it. I have to have them in the right place, in the correct order, so it looks tidy. I couldn't have it on the left-hand side with two noises next to it. That looks scruffy. I don't like it. No. It has to be neat and tidy. That's just me. <laughs> Let me know if you're the same. I, I know there are others who are slightly odd like that as well in the same way I am. Right. Let's do some battles. I won't do too many on this at first. I'll just do a few set levels then jump forward a few stages then see how it's doing on the later levels. But I'm... Sure, it'll be fine. There's our storm. Yellow gems fall more than the other colours. So, no yellow initially. No blue initially. No purple initially. Okay. Hit him with a skull then. That's where you want to live your life. Alright. They're getting excited. So, we'll do that. Get an extra turn. See if we can charge up somebody that's going to charge up Chiazka and that'll be death a lot of the time you'll get this yellow really quickly straight away that was just a bit of an unlucky start we'll do Aberath next so basically it, as long as you see those standard symbols for the standard enemies do them in order of mythic first which is the teal one then the orange which is the legendary and so on if you see the swirly one in purple that is the one that is the one you really want because that is the amethyst giant and that is worth the most points don't need to cast rope dart because jazka is up just kills all in one fell swoop back to the archduke Oh, nice bit of purple there. Won't say no to that. How quickly, obviously, your Chazka 
defeats the enemy is based on your magic level. The higher your magic level, the more damage you're going to do. You may have to cast a second one. But still, in relative terms, it's going to be the quickest way to do it. Nice purple. Nice death. New campaign starting this week, obviously. There it is, the Amethyst Giant. So, regardless of what is here, even if it's a mythic one or a legendary one, the Amethyst Giant is here. We're going to punch them in the face. Grab yellow. Grab purple if you can next. Uh, if not, you can do that. Yeah, the raven. Don't want that thing flying off. Should have got purple then, really. I'll do it now, because we're still interested in getting our High Priestess Jazka up first and foremost, as the games get significantly harder, and or if your High Priestess Jazka is not wiping out the enemy in one go, you're going to want to Switch tactics and cast Rope Dart first. Now we go back to Archduke. And after this I'll do a few more levels and jump forward a bit. Again, still quicker to get purple at first. Because we're enchanted. And it's ready to go in the next round. Because we're not going to kill them first go anymore. Or are we? Or are we? I don't know, because we get that 40% boost, don't we? No, not quite enough. See, if you're unsure, you, I could have got that extra yellow then and got that second High Priestess Jazka charged up. That would have enabled me to cast her back to back, which would have been quicker than using these turns now. Oh, she's ready to go and I didn't notice. Barla's standing at the bottom there doing a little dance, wondering when she's going to get a bit of action. But we don't need you yet. You'll get your turn, Dishy, don't worry. I just call her Dishy. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Divine Ishbala. And she's sort of Dishy. It's Dishy Ishbala. Oh, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video now, jump forward a few stages, come back on a higher level. Right, I've restarted. I've got a Archduke level 122. But yeah, the team's going along absolutely just fine. All you need to do is just use a rope dart sometimes, first of all, to soften. That first troop up, like we got it charged already, we can do that. We'll just bang on someone that's annoying, say him. And then we can concentrate on getting the rest of the team up. If you want to do that, you can finish them off. That's going to do damage to all. Keep looking for yellow and purple. If it's not there, then uh, grab some blue or give them a punch. Nice amount of yellow there. We can, again, take away armor, soften them up. Jazga can finish off. And if you've got Divine Ishbala there, then you can do this conversion. Get loads of yellow for the team. Get some hits. Soften them up if you want with Rope Dart. Extra turn. Jazga finishes off. Bingo Bango. Lower level media. Got a bit of a skin condition, it has to be said. Get some ointment on that if I were you. Grab some yellow. That will get it again. Get our High Priestess Chazkas ready. The other one's going to be ready next round anyway. So depending on your magic level, you may not have to use Rope Dart. You can cast one Chazka, then the other. And that's handy to keep Rope Dart there as well, because sometimes the enemy has a summon, and if it brings it back, you can sometimes just one-shot it with your ready-to-be-cast Rope Dart. Mm, nah, not too bad. Let's get some purple instead. No purple, no yellow, no blue, but we're... Ready the next round. I'm sort of stubborn on this game. When the AI doesn't give me any of the colours that I want and it offers me something like that, I will take anything but the thing that it offers me as if to say no. 
You're clearly trying to set me up. I'm not going to do that. But this is probably just the way I think. Again, we can cast both of these back to back. Any survivors will be taken out by Rupdar or Ishbala if we have any red to skulls. We do have a single alignment there. We can look out for green to yellow, which we have as well. So this is going to be an extra turn while creating yellow, which charges up Chazka again. Finishes off. And pretty straightforward. Got a couple more sigils. Oops, wrong button. Let's just, let's just do this one. Last one. See how the team works. It's working pretty good. Purple, yellow, then blue. Don't mind giving them that skull back for all. Let them think that they're doing good. Like I say, you can do this initial damage if you like. If you've got a high armoured person there, you can do that. Soft them up. Chaska will finish them off on the second round. Then you can work on everybody else. This will be ready any moment if we need her for some supplemental damage and we get any skull alignments. If not, you're going to have to charge up the rope dart again. That's an extra turn. We'll take that and party. You can do some damage with this if you like, but hey-ho, you can just finish someone off first. Just give them a wallop. This is going to be a guaranteed hit. We've got plenty of health. We can let them have a couple of hits. Make them think they're doing good. There you go. Get out of it. Right, and there's a video. No need to make it go on any longer. Um, there's a team. If you enjoyed it, found it useful in any way helpful, be really cool if you hit that like and subscribe button. But most of all, thanks for watching. I did the Soul Forge review video earlier today. That's already up, and I'll be doing the Legends Reborn guide a bit later on. So still that to look forward to today, but thanks for watching this one. Really appreciate it. Bye for now.